Good morning everyone. Today we'll share with you a recurrent retina attachment associated with the full thickness macular hole. The patient is pseudophagic and in a history of two previous surgery for retinal detachment. The plan for today is to go with 25 gauge pars plana vitrectomy to peel the traction and then to plug the full thickness macular hole secondary to the retinal detachment with a human amniotic membrane. The patient is already vitrectomized, so what we are doing now is fluid air exchange because we want to see how stiff is the retina and at the same time injecting blue I want to minimize the amount of blue that can go under the retina. I'm now peeling uh, the traction. We can see there is a, a very stiff uh, ILM. Probably it's not just the ILM itself, but it's also vitreous cortex uh, because uh, it's very strongly attached and looks like uh, a proliferation more than just an ILM. I mean doing now the fluid air exchange again, trying to dry the subretinal fluid as much as I can and then now I'm getting inside the human amniotic membrane. As have you seen I reduce the amount, not just cut, of a human amniotic membrane, not just cutting with the forceps, but with the cutter because it's easier. In this case, I'm using the human amniotic membrane as a plug and scaffold. So I'm not caring about the side of monolayer of epithelium or the avascular stroma, mesenchymal stroma on the other side, but just using the human amniotic membrane as a plug to induce a gliosis and the closure of the um, full thickness macro hole in this retinal detachment. This is the reason why I'm working under air and not under water because I'm not using the sticky side, the stroma side of the human amniotic membrane to keep the uh, amniotic membrane in place but using the air that keep the, the amniotic membrane there. Because the patient already had the proliferation with the attachment that was tamponated with the, tamponating with the silicon oil. So by the end of the surgery, you see that the human amniotic membrane is in place. And uh, the day after the surgery at OCT, you can see the plug that is inside the full thickness macro hole. It is no retinal attachment anymore. Thank you.